you, thank you. What's up guys? We are loaded up and we are heading to Parker, Arizona for the Hardcore Poker Run. This is a really rad event that we do. I mean, we pretty much almost do it every year, but it is hardcore because you got to run like six or seven trails all in one day and they're all pretty good trails and it is a lot of fun. What's up guys? We made it to Parker and now we're going to go do the Hardcore Poker Run. Look at all those buggies on buggies on buggies. So here's how it works. Everyone meets off the dirt road that leads to the desert bar at a place called Three Slabs to get registered and buy poker hands for the poker run. Each trail has a spot where you play a game of chance that determines what card you're gonna get. There are a total of seven trails and a joker card. If you can spot and catch the joker, then you'll earn a wild card. Once you've completed the trails and have your hand Everyone meets at the infamous launch pad where you turn in your hand to see who won. We got some merchandise so you guys can get when you come out here to the event. We got registration over here. You can come, oh, you gotta get your first card and then you can get a t-shirt. Virgil got an A a card. Virgil got an A card. Ooh, he's starting out good. Okay, what are you doing right now? I am up here at Three Slabs. Jess is filling out the paperwork for us. And we're looking to go hit some wheel or hit some trails <laughs> and make some money, hopefully. Yeah, buddy. Now that we're registered and got our scorecards, it's time to play our first game of chance. Pick a clover, any clover. This game is pretty straightforward. Pick the one that you think has the best card and see what happens. Virgil's already went and scored an ace of hearts. Now it's my turn and our daughter Colby has way better luck, so she's playing for me. Colby ends up getting a six of spades. This puts Virgil with a much better start, and you're about to find out why this may be a problem. So here's the deal. We are at the poker run where we get these cards and we do the poker run, and then we can win some money. But there's a lot of people out here, so chances are we may not win money. So me and Virgil, we've got a personal bet going. Whoever has the best hand is safe. The one that has the losing hand has to jump in the river. I like it. And it is freaking cold right now, so loser is gonna hate this. We're off to the first trail. We couldn't find a seat for Colby. Luckily, the trails are super close to each other, so we took the back ways until we could get to the trail where she likes to hop out and spot the rigs. All right, guys, we're on trail number one. Actually, we can do any trails number one, but we picked President's Choice. We do that because everyone finishes here, where no one starts. So we just blast through it, and then we're gonna hit the other trails. This one's one of my favorite trails and they've got one of the gnarliest obstacles in Parker called the Lodge Pad. So we're gonna go crush this trail and get our first hand. Ew! This trail is by far my favorite because it offers so many bonus obstacles. This up and over is the first bonus of the trail and Virgil's already lined up and going for it. This is the DVORA buggy. They are both veterans dedicated to taking other veterans out rock crawling. On top of that, they are the We Rock Sportsman's A National Champions of 2022.
Virgil's starting up the next bonus line. This one's not as tall as the last, but has a harsh break over. This is a great time to mention, bonus lines are optional and there are milder lines. These trails are fun for built full bodies that like to get rowdy all the way to rear steers. That's what makes Parker a perfect place for a poker run. The entire Red Gear crew has always done our part picking up trash, but Colby's slowly become the MVP for picking up the trash on the trails. We made it to the launch pad, the final obstacle on the trail president's choice. It's a lot like Backdoor in Johnson Valley, one big obstacle that everyone loves to get rowdy on. You'll see more of this later in the day when we meet back here to turn in our cards. This is the launch pad. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, buggy. You ready? Come on. Now that we finished the trail, it's time to play a game of chance for President's Choice. This one's a Powerball style, and whatever card is on the ball that pops out is what you get. One hand? One hander. Whoa, did you see that, Colby? I don't even know what that is. So I got a six, six or... of clubs. Six of clubs. So I got a queen of clubs. Nice. Dang, they got hot dogs and chips. Colby, you want some chips? Got chips, soda, water. All right, so we finished President's Choice. We're on to the next trail. I don't know which trail we're doing. Maybe Rio Lobo? I don't know. So we're on to the next trail, which is Rio Lobo. All right, we just lined up for Rio Lobo. This is our second trail we're gonna be hitting. This one's super quick and jam-packed. It's a pretty cool trail, but it takes like a minute if you're booking it. So we're just gonna jam right through it, see what happens. This trail has one spot that has a couple bonus lines on it. They don't look super hard, but all the rock is super loose and brittle, so you hardly get traction. And if you stop, you're for sure sliding back. I take the super sketchy line off to the left. You have to shoot up past the dugout holes and then carefully crawl the rest of the way without sliding backwards. Once you're at the top, you throw it in front dig and slowly crawl down it so you don't slide off to the passenger side off the ledge. As your rears come down, you want a front dig driver to dig your front end back into the other line. Again, this would be far less sketch if it wasn't all loose and shaly. After Jess grabs some trail trash, Virgil takes the super dugout right line to catch up and meet at the Rio Lobos card stop. All right, now go fishing. <laughs> Easy ducky. Quack, quack. Ace. Yes. Yeah. Name of this game is Go Fish. It's where you have to catch the fish with the highest card. Colby lands the big one with an ace of clubs and Virgil scores a queen of spades. I got the joker, yes sir. We got the joker, joker. yay. Right after getting our cards at the Rio Lobo stop, we saw the joker drive by and hurried up to go catch him to get our wild cards. All right, so we're about to go down to Deliverance. 
We just hit the Joker. We got our Joker card, which is awesome. And now we're gonna hit Deliverance. So halfway through Deliverance is Duke and Dutchess. I think our plan is to go beginning of Deliverance. Hey Duke, go down Dutchess, finish Deliverance, and then we're going to the next trail. Woo! The trails Duke, Dutchess, Deliverance, and True Grit all kind of weave in and out and are connected. Some of the card stops are gonna be two for one stops. So we're gonna go get after it. And then Duke, if you take a right, you can go right down Dutchess. So we're gonna go down Dutchess. It saves time doing that instead of going up both. So we're gonna do that to get our other hands and rock and roll. We didn't find the guy on Duke that's doing the card. So maybe there's a twofer at Dutchess. I don't know, we'll find out. We hauled butt down the Dutchess so we could find the next card stop. Hopefully there's gonna be two because we didn't see any on the Duke. Kind what did you get? What did you get? Oh, did you do it yet? Go. <laughs> we can play one game. I sketch distracted me. <laughs> you get one game? Don't, don't do the duck one. Yeah, do do that. I'm going, I think you should do this. This one looks fun. We can cheat. Turns out it was a two for one. You can either try your luck picking a duck, spin the wheel, or pick a stick. Virgil gets a jack of diamonds and a seven of clubs. Colby picks a three of hearts and a ten of hearts. So far, Virgil is in the lead. Colby's gonna have to do some work if she's gonna save me from the polar plunge in that freezing cold river. I forgot to mention that every card stop has snacks and food, from tacos to hot dogs, popcorn or chips. It's pretty much an all day buffet. So we're trying to go to True Grit, but uh, Foggy won't start. <laughs> <laughs> we hop in to go to the next trail and sure enough my car won't start. Check the ignition switch by passing the switch and that didn't work. So we went to the next thing, the ignition relay. Sure enough that's exactly what failed. Luckily we had a spare in our trail bag. It's always a good reminder on how awesome the wheeling community is. Everyone that was around stopped what they were doing and helped me figure out how to get my junk back running and on the trail. We've been doing the hardcore poker run for many years. This spot always stands out as a rig milestone to me. The first time I came was in my old one ton TJ and it didn't have front dig. I would always get a big scratch on the body armor on the rear passenger quarter panel. A couple years later, I got front dig and would barely miss the panel. And now with front dig and a rear steer and a full buggy, I sneak right through this line easy. I love obstacles like this that show progression and milestones. We smoked through the trail deliverance, trying to make up some time for my buggy being down. Now we're at the game of chance, trying to score big. If you don't know what this game is, then you're a nerd. And I recommend you go Google it. Good job. Nice job. <laughs> All right. Snacks and water. Yeah, snacks and water. You guys help yourselves. Bobby, what did you get? 
Go to Jack, Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts. Jack of all hearts. <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. It's been a pretty good Saturday. I'm thinking about maybe it's some Home Depot. Maybe Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know if we'll have time. <laughs> How's your cards looking there, Water Boy? It doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> show me. Show me. Hey, that looks good. Ace, I've been, Queen, Jack, and a six. We got a six. The plan is go up here, hit seven falls, shoot back, hit true grit, get all three cards, and then go eat some pork. Wait, is seven pork. falls part of this? No. Bonus trail! Bonus trail! <laughs> hey, real quick. We hit the bonus trails and realized we were running out of time to meet at the launch pad to see if we were winner winner chicken dinners. So we blazed the next trail and hustled the last game of chance so we could make it in time for our poker hands to qualify. Well, how'd we do? Um, four aces in Sorry, queen high. I can't see it. What? I, I tried, I tried looking at it. You are so close. I know. Number three. I know. Well. We were close, we were close. <laughs> Can't win them all, can't win them all. I was so close. Well, we didn't win the money, but Colby handled the loss like a champ. Hey, but let's be serious. Did any of us really lose getting to wheel, play fun games, and eat all day? Well, if we did lose, we're gonna head over to the launch pad like everybody else and beat on our buggies to make ourselves feel better. to locals out here and they said they have never seen anyone drop launch pad i'm sure it's been done before i'm gonna give it a try check it out and wish me luck I hope that you guys didn't forget about the bet that Virgil and I had about the person with the losing hand had to go take a polar plunge down at the river. Well, we sure didn't. Turns out Colby was a massive advantage, getting a higher hand than Virgil did, saving me and sending him to the freezing depths. What's up? <laughs> we just got done with the hardcore poker run and guess who didn't lose? This guy. <laughs> and guess who's going? on the freezing cold plunge. <laughs> that guy. Andy! Should I run at it or should I walk it out there like Jesus? 
You gotta run. You think I should just run? I think you should run. You know on a full plunge you gotta go under the water, right? Yeah. You gotta dip your head. Like yeah. Whoa. That's gonna be so cool. That's gonna be great for my camera. I'm not gonna lie, after almost a 90 degree day, I'm a little jealous. It looks so nice, even if the water is only 55 degrees. That's it. I'm going in and hitting Virgil with a good old Bronson signature belly flop. <laughs> that looks way too fun! I mean, you're kind of a loser because nobody here actually won, so just a bunch of losers. Uh, we're all losers. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for putting in this perspective for us. Sponsored in part by BF Goodrich Tires, Warren Industries, KC Highlights, and Axle Off-Road Helmets. Best way to support this channel is give that subscribe button a little skiddly do, diddle that notification bell, give this video the fat finger, and leave a dirty little comment below. As always, thanks for watching.